sake of the people of the world. But there is one man here on earth who will never kneel before you. Who is this imbecile? This imbecile is me, the current GOAT of Tecmo Owners League, Tim Enriquez, King of Psychological Disorders, here to have a little fun as we rock and roll with T.O.L. Season motherfucking nine, week one. We're getting things underway. Very exciting. And we have a good one for this first week. We got Michael Jenkinson's Way of Kings battling Mike uh, Joseph Read It and Weep More and his ice team. So let's see. It's time to get this party started. Let's see what we got. Week one, baby. Here we go. The Little Icelanders going up against the Way of Kings. Little Icelanders in a, kind of a pinkish, pinkish hue. And the Way of Kings in a pretty solid black and some kind of greeny color. Aaron Gunnarsson's going to fire it down. Look at that weird uh, filled up kick bar. But they fill it all the way to Seth who takes it three yards back. And this season is rolling, boys. This season is rolling. And Jenkinson's picking up right where he left off as as a preseason champion with Zeth taking it to the 30. Hello. That's exactly the way you want to start. Got to overcome this P2 position. Look at Dalinar. I forgot how fast that bastard is. And that's it. That is it. Let's just go ahead and close this recording right now. Blackthorn Dalinar takes it. Massive run right up the middle, and it is six. Soon to be seven. Nothing with this extra point. Nobody there, and he'll just doink that in. And all of a sudden, the little Icelanders are just reeling as this fantasy team is storming in and takes a commanding seven-nothing lead with just 18 seconds left. But but Jork. Wants a little bit of something on his own and gets out to the 49. Not quite as impressive as what Seth did, but solid. All right, we got Fisher here, who's in the gun and going to fire it to the wrong player. So let's get our, I know these jerseys are a little weird to look at, but let's get these colors right. You're throwing to the pink team. Oh, he's going to have a chance, a pretty slow WR1, but he's there. Hits him at the 10. Wrapped up at the five, does go down with the ball, so it's first and goal for the Icelanders trying to survive this initial onslaught. Fisher now is going to give the goal to Bajork, who's going to hurl a guy and say, I don't care if you know how to swing a sword, baby. I'm a pagan fucking poet, and I'll cast this weird spell on your ass by sacrificing an animal. And Gunnarsson takes his time, lines it up perfectly, and we got ourselves a ball game. 7-7. Seven, seven. Not quite so impressive of a kick. This time they try the far side to see if that throws off Zeth's return. He's going to hit that line again and solid, but not quite game-changing the way it was previously. Four wide for Dalinar, but there's time they're hip to his speed. You thought they were at least going to get him for a loss of two or three, but he does a great job in my eye. Picks up a yard on that. Now he's in the gun. They cover the deep guy. He's going to have the dump off. Oh, a nice line blacker play to leap up there and knock that away from the Icelanders. Big third down. Oh, but they leave the guy wide open. Cal is there, but he pushed it down on his excitement. Pushed it too much, and he could not connect with Cal. That has got to anger you. Long time for the punter. But he does get the ball off, and it's a good boot. A very good boot. A perfect boot to the one. And, oh, he coughs it up, but they can't get on it. The Icelanders put a little slick on that ball before he dropped it, and they were unable to fall on it. It would have been a golden opportunity. He's got to throw this ball quick, and it is blocked. Blocked when he had a man wide open 20 yards down the field. They're in potential safety zone here. They got to watch themselves. Called play. He fires and blocked again. Third and ten. What are they going to do? 
Oh, they decide to go. He's got his man. He's got a fire to laxness. Did he push it too far? He did. Wide open. Would have been a touchdown. No one was even in the screen. And they cannot connect. That's two. That's a missed opportunity. Huge on each team. Actually, call it two with the inability to pick up the fumble. And so here's Hoyd. Gets out just past the 40. A lot of action in these first three minutes. Line holds pretty well. There's a guy there. Oh, too slow, dude. What's that 40 time there? You should be able to get to that ball. And once again, they leave their star receiver open. There is some pressure. Looks like a better throw. This time it's in the breadbasket while he's streaking. He doesn't even slow down. And that play is lethal. Storm bless Cal. We saw him in the preseason. Looking badass. And so here we go. The Way of Kings off to an impressive 14-7 start. Schmedium kick to Bjork. Stands at his 10. First wave is a little slow coming, but all that means is he plows straight forward and doesn't really do much and of an impressive nature. Fisher, I don't know who any of these fucks are. I'm just going Bobby Fisher, the chess champion, is the QB. This time they're going waggle. They're going to have that dump off. They find Bjork. He's going to get the first. Oh, can't quite get around his guy and pick up another 10 or 15, but still a nice first down. Offset formation for Fisher. They're going to plunge it. No, he's going to avoid someone and then can't get there. Pushed it too much. The guy at his feet was very distracting. They liked what they saw, so they may try it again. But they this time, Ashoni knew what was coming. Two swim moves in a row. And Fisher's brittle body lies almost broken. Oh, they left wide receiver one open. And it's blocked. Oh, man. Fisher still rattled. Gives up another potential touchdown opportunity. And the Icelanders fire it down. Gets the ball at the 7. To the 14. Let's see what Dalinar has in store. God, they are not covering the main guy. This time, Dalinar is going to take it. Picks up four. Had a chance. Look at this slow-ass dude trotting along. They're going to try to create a little opening for Shallan. Not much there. Third and three. Big third down. Can the Icelanders get the ball back? And they should be able to. They do. They snuffed out the sweep from Dalinar. Down he goes. Got a lot of slow guys there. Not much pressure coming through. Pretty good kick. Sigurd. He's going to have a chance. Going to hit that line. Oh, he's tackled a couple yards shorter than I thought he would be. And his fibula is now sticking out his leg. So that's a little rough. Sigurd off. In comes Triumph. Remember, injuries are jacked up. I'm surprised it took us to the second quarter to get one. Oh, the blocker goes for the wrong guy. Bjork only able to gain two. I got to evaluate these teams here. I haven't seen them at all. Pretty solid lineup for Read It and Weep. Let's see. He's going to have his tight end going to try to find him. This time it's not blocked. This time it is. And he is. It's a nice open field tackle there, but still a 21-yard pickup. First and 10. Shotgun for Fisher. Everybody's picked up. And he throws. That looked like double coverage to me. That was pretty dumb. Either that or the guy's a Siamese twin. They try the pitch. A little bit of an unusual angle. Only gets four. Can the Way of Kings hold them to a field goal attempt? They do, actually. The run up the middle, and that's that's gone. York is there. Everybody thought the pass was coming. We forgot they even had that play in there. We haven't even seen it yet. But the Pagan Poet comes out, breaks the leg of a chicken, sprinkles some blood on his opponent's eyes, and then sneaks by him. High kick, but he should doink it in. 
14 14. Shorter kick for Seth. But he doesn't do a whole lot with it. Only out to the 13. Only out to the 30 for a 13 yard return. Dallin R says, fuck this. I'm keeping this myself. Got some speed. Hits that line. They do shoestring tackle him to prevent a huge gain. Oh, and we just talked about the injuries. There goes Blackthorn. You would think in his plate mail armor that he would be a little more fortified. But not so. Renarin now comes on in. But he may be just as jacked. Moving pretty fast. Not crazy fast. I don't know what... Jenks likes to play that out right outside linebacker, so I don't know what he did here. Haven't seen any teams. And there's a fumble! But they're lucky that the Way of Kings is able to pick it up and even pick up two yards on that. Third and five. Shotgun formation. Renner in the backup is in. They're going to leave wide receiver one wide open. He's probably stopped his feet. He did. Storm bless Cal. Oh, and he's gone. Look at the acceleration of that kid. Storm bless Cal gets the catch from the backup QB. That was a crucial third down. And Renner in comes in, does his job, finishes that drive. Someone's tumbling around there, but alas, no block. So the preseason champ has a seven-point lead with two minutes left in the second quarter. Couple of nice blocks. Bjork out past the 30. He's got his running back coming in. Oh, and they give the ball off just in time. Look at the moves of Bjork. Look at the moves. And he gets a diver. I think that'll be it. Oh, no. Great accelerating speed there to stop him at the three. There is, uh, time's not really a factor at all. They're going to pitch. The defense is going to kind of collapse, but Bjork is too smart. Sees them cut off the outside, goes way back to the inside. That's what you get for being a pagan poet. You get that wisdom to know what to do and when to do it. And again, a little bit of a high kick, but he should be fine. Doink it in. 21. 21. All right, let's see what Seth... Oh, Seth just tumbles three yards after touching the ball. His worst return of the day. Let's see what Rennering can do. You got to figure he might be throwing some picks here. Oh, a defender had his foot set. Lucky that was dropped. Called play here. Thor's daughter. Gets the big sack. They might get the ball back. This time they cover their number one receiver. And, oh, and he drops the ball. So they will punt, but, man, very little time left. Only going to be 18 seconds. Unless they can get a block. We haven't seen much effort to block. Pretty shitty kick. Let's see if they have any chance of getting into field goal range. And not a good return. 19 seconds left. They can score with some of these plays. Let's see what happens. Oh, they went for the pass, but Adeline was too smart. Knew not to be fooled on the run. Even if he broke it, he probably wasn't going to score there. So now it's 13 seconds. Let's see what they do. They've got WR2 streaking down the field. He's going to fire it, but the defender, man, a great defensive play to catch up to that guy. I thought he was going to be more open than that. So it's halftime. Pretty thrilling half. What do we have? 35 total points, something like that. Maybe more. Is it tied? I don't even remember. I'm too excited. Navani's going to kick it off. Shitty kick. Yeah, 42 points in the first half. Two high-powered offenses going at it. Way of Kings hanging in there despite QB1 going down. But look at Bjork. Got a chance to make some real moves. Gets inside the red zone. He wanted an impressive return of his own. He's had a couple, but this is certainly his best. And he's got a lot of choices. Everybody wide open. Does he push it too far? No. Soft touch right in the corner of the end zone. And basically a mirror image of the opening drive that Way of Kings put together with a great return and then a quick TD throw. 
and the Little Icelanders take the lead, I believe, the first time today, 28-21. Gunnarsson's going to fire it down there. Seth got some chances. Safety's a little slow to react there. They finally get him down, but man, they did not close that net nearly fast enough. And let's see, Renneren may want to keep this himself. He is trucking down. God, not a ton of speed, but look at him go. Make it a block help. Gets it to the 18. Great play. In the red zone, trying to match it up. He just liked what he did before. Oh, but this time, David's daughter says, no, no, no. I'm not the daughter of an idiot. They're going to leave RB2 open, but they're forcing it into Cal, who cannot make the grab. Third and 13. What's going to happen here? Four wide. They're going to run with Renneren. And, oh, a great chop down open field tackle. Brings him to his knees. He only picks up a yard. Should be a pretty easy field goal. He lines it up perfect. And that'll chop the lead to four. Queen Navani. Show those legs a little more there, Navani. Oh, Bjork popped one dude, but then went down. His own moment momentum brought him down. Let's see what Fisher can do. Bjork is finding some good lines here. Gets some good blocks. Oh, gets a huge block. Needs to dive her. Oh, a great shoestring tackle there. To save the TD, hell of an effort for that D lineman, Adeline, to come running down. That's their wide receiver one on the other side. Of course, interesting thing about this season, right, is you get players are playing twice, and Adeline is kicking serious ass. That play action pass, the line collapses so often. And Adeline is on a tear. He's obviously moved up a condition, a couple of sacks in a row. And so it's going to force a long field goal. It is in the middle, but this bar has been moving fast, and he shank tanks it too high. And all of a sudden, the Way of Kings will take over a good field position with lots of time left. Here comes a draw to Shallon, who makes a nice move there, makes two nice moves, gets a double diver, got one fast guy chasing him with a nice shoestring tackle right at the ankles to get him at the 23-25. Renneren's there. Oh, they leave the guy wide open, but Renneren has been kind of his feet getting a little foot happy dancing. He's dancing too close to the line, and they swallow him up. They like what they saw, though. They're calling it again, and they don't do anything, but he does the same goddamn play. The defense did not pick up wide receiver one. Wide receiver two is pretty open, but he's so slow. He cannot get to it. And so it's field goal time again to try to cut the lead to a measly point. Tougher kick, and I don't think that one is going to find the uprights. So no good. All that hustle, all that drive, just to give the ball right back to Fisher. This time they decide to run right at Adeline instead of running away from him. Gets a nice block. Still running. Look at Bjork. To the 30, to the 20, to the 10, and a double dive brought down at the 4 with 8 seconds left in the third quarter. They try that same play. It works so well, and it works again. Touchdown. The Pagan Poet. Let me recite a little poetry for you. I wish I had a haiku right in my brain. I like T-O-L. T-O-L is my favorite. I'm the goat. I think I'm one fucking syllable short there. Too bad. Goat. All right, here comes Seth. Chops it down, 25. So now they've got a little tougher challenge here. 11 points with that backup QB. A call play is not how you want to start. Thor's daughter. Big tech. Renner in surveys. He's going to have wide receiver one. This time he doesn't get foot happy. He needs to drop it. Gets it to Cal, who we know is super fast. 
And Cal is strong too, but so is the other guy. Good defensive play to hold him there. A little early to be thinking about time. But obviously, the longer it takes to score, the better. Got some pressure. Oh, and Tefit is there, but you can tell he's a terrible player. Not used to the ball, and he coughs it up. Painful, painful. Coughs it up. Put that guy on the bench. And, oh, this time they fake him out. Adelin was there to destroy the QB, but this time there was this wise move to hand it off. They're in that same formation. They're going to run again. And he just plows forward for a first down. Three here is manageable. He's got a guy. Can he get a jump? Oh, he pushed it too much. Three is manageable. A touchdown is a significant dagger. He's got a man open. Going to fire to Laxness, who's there, and gets the dive. Oh, we just said it was a dagger strike. Haldor Laxness from Bobby Fisher. Hey, it is Bobby Fisher. All right. And it's all of a sudden, 42 24, unless my dyslexic eyes deceive me. Let's see what Seth can do. The way of kings here. Need a little something to start off in the win column. Gonna need a little magic. They got a good playbook. Let's see what they can do. Tough with that backup QB. Dalinar, you'd have more confidence. Shotgun. Who's he gonna find? He's gonna toss it. Oh, that was dangerous. A weird angle. Looked like almost a lefty throw there. Is he, look, he's in lefty stance. Is, there, is every QB lefty? Am I just noticing this now? Oh, and that is a dagger again. Gala with the pick to the 22. That's just going to do it. Oh, man. I imagine several things have broken in Jenkinson's house. Oh, and then just insult to energy, insult to injury. The pagan poet has had one hell of a game. Obviously spent some time in his shaman tent and was led by the voices of NHI to figure out how to beat this tough Way of Kings team. Gunnarsson fires it deep. Now you're just hoping you don't get any more injuries. Let's see what Seth can do. He's got a nice little line. He's got a lot of speed. Oh, he coughs up the ball. Well... If you're going to have shit go wrong, you might have it go might as well have it go wrong when it doesn't really matter. Call play. Down goes the QB Fisher from Venley. <clears throat> Minute left. They're going to pitch it to Bajor who wants to find his own line. Gets a few of those yards back. Still third and 14. See what they do. Fisher, too slow. Ashani, they needed to do that on a couple of those other plays. So they'll go for the long field goal. And he pushed it, I think. And he does. Doink it off. 30 seconds left. Wave Kings trot out. A little downtrodden. Call play. Can he get the ball off? He does. One of the joys of these shotgun plays Ah, uh, but can't even make the completion. <coughs> they go with that heavy hitter pass. Try to just force it to Cal, their star. Oh, he had a step on him. And that's it. So a strong start from Way of Kings. But then Renneran came in 18% with a pick. Fisher, shitty percentage, but did enough. And look at the strong run game. 15 runs, 264 yards. That's a hell of an average to start off. And the Icelanders able to survive the barrage from the fantasy characters. <laughs>